Hey, good evening, YouTube, Proved by Me, back again. How y'all doing? Good, good, I hope. Anyways, I'm back with another review. Solo. Anyhow, I'm reviewing a beer that was sent to me by Raining on Your Parade, also known as Michael. Um, go check out his channel. It's uh, www.youtube.com um, backslash Raining on Your Parade. Um, he basically um, watches beer reviews and, and stuff like that. Um, he doesn't have any videos of, him, of, of his stuff up yet, but uh, he said uh, that he will be. Anyways, uh, he contacted the albino rhino asking if he can get some Bose beers. Unfortunately, rhino said he couldn't, so rhino sent him to me, and I sent him some beers, and so he sent me some beers. So uh, I'm going to be reviewing another beer that Riding on Your Parade, Michael, sent to me. This is the Mission Street India Pale Ale. It's brewed under Firestone Walker, I believe. Um, you know, so it was brewed on the fifth month, the 30th day of 2013. So that's uh, uh, January, February, March, April, May 30th, 2013. It's 355 milliliters. It's 6.1% ABV, standard gold cap. And that's what the bottle looks like. I'm going to use my uh, Samuel Adams glass again because that's my favorite one for IPAs that I have right now. It's just the way the glass is shaped. It uh, does a big... Uh, any smoke? Any smoke? No smoke. Whoa. Hoptopia, baby. Hoptopia. Wow. Smells good. Can't wait to dig into this baby. Right. Uh, it's a golden color. Um, it looks orange on the computer, but it is actually a golden color, so a little lighter than I would expect for an IPA. It's a finger of a head, sm small, tiny, tight bubbles, as you can see. There you go. So, beautiful color, nice carbonation. Let's give her a smell. Big citrus, big pine. Slight bit of tropical fruit there in the back, but mostly citrus and uh, pine. Nice sweet malt character there, a slight bit of caramel toffee. Oh, it smells good. It smells freaking good. Hallelujah. Let's give her a go. Can't wait to try this bad boy. Cheers! Wow. All right, all right. It's an average IPA. Nothing wrong with it. Nice malt presence there, nice hoppy bitterness presence there as well. Fairly mixes fairly well together. Nice sweet caramel coffee or caramel toffee um, character there, followed by that citrus pine um, tropical fruit kind of character there. Very light bodied, uh, medium carbonation. <sighs> nice lacing. It's a very light, easy drinking IPA. A fairly sessionable IPA, to be honest with you. Um, I would rate this as one of those IPAs that you would try if you're starting to get into craft beers and you want to try IPAs. This is one of those ones that you would start from number one, level one. There's three levels. There's level one, which is this one. There's level two, which I would say is probably um, like um, here in Canada like uh, St. Ambrose IPA or um, or uh, Beaver River IPA from the Bose Brewing Company. Um, um, so that's level one. Level two would be something like uh, um, one of the Flying Monkeys uh, Optical Illusion.
um, or a Dogfish Head 60 Minute IPA. Um, then level three would be Screaming Beaver from the Bose Brewing Company, um, Red Racer from um, Central City Brewing Company on the west coast of Canada, Surrey, BC. Um, and then you have Extreme IPAs, which is like, uh, I'll say Pliny the Elder or um, um, what else is right up there? Uh, you know, uh, well, Screaming Beaver uh, is right up there too, as well, I should say. Um, but, anyways, you know what I mean? You know what I'm getting at. So, it's a bottom level IPA. Definitely tasty, definitely hoppy. Nice malt presence, nice hot presence, you know, like I'm getting some pine, which is Simcoe. I'm getting some citrus, like Citra or Cascade. I'm getting some uh, a floral, tropical fruit thyme, kind of like Centennial or, uh, or uh, Amarillo, you know. Malt, standard two-row base. Uh, maybe a little bit of crystal caramel malts, and that's about it. That's how the beer rolls, my friends. That's how the beer rolls, rolls. Anyhow, yeah, so if you can find it, and you want to try an IPA for the first time, this is one of those ones you would want to try. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any ideas, suggestions down there in the box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I want to thank my viewers for watching, and until next time, Brew By Me is out! Thanks, Michael. Raining on your parade. Thanks for sending me this. Cheers.